Hey everybody, Andrea Waltz of Go For No here, and I wanted to introduce you to a new book about asking. Now there are a few great books on the market when it comes to asking for anything in business or in life. And the three that are my favorite go-to ones, uh, one, The Aladdin Factor, which was published over 20 years ago by Mark Victor Hansen and Jack Canfield, two, Rejection Proof by Zha Zhang, which came out a few years ago and is all about his 100 days of rejection, which was amazing. And the other one was Ask for More by Alexandra Carter. And she's a brilliant lawyer and negotiator. And that book is all about asking and getting more. And we have a new one on the block. Uh, and this is called Ask like an auctioneer. Ask like an auctioneer. This is by Dia Bondi. And uh, she had a great TED talk, by the way, that I stumbled across. And so I was like, well, gosh, when her book comes out, I need to be the first to get it. And I have, and I've got all kinds of notes. So I just wanted to share a couple things. I wanted to actually read just a couple pieces from the book real quick. And if asking is uh, a hot button for you, which it absolutely is for me, then go pick up this book. It's really, it's really good. Anyway, she says, um, she said she's talking about at, trying to uh, ask from the standpoint of getting a yes. And she says, that's the problem asking for and getting less because we're asking to get a yes. And I never saw it until I started to auctioneer. We shape our asks around what we think is feasible rather than pushing the boundaries of what is possible. We shy away from anything that could get a no, and by doing so, leave money and resources on the table. Auctioneers don't do that. We can't. We ask to get a no. We must ask in order to see what the maximum possible amount is that anyone in that room at that moment would pay. We need to ask for the most so we can get a no and are certain we've hit the ceiling and left nothing on the table. Then, and only then, can we say sold. No is a good thing. No is great news. No is exactly what we're looking for because it tells us we've maximized the potential of that ask. And no is not the end. I wholeheartedly agree. Uh, and also, I just want to read this little, this little piece as well. Um, later on, she says, uh, the no is the destination you're striving toward, not the yes you think they'll go for, because your rationale is not their rationale. But out and ask and find out what you can get instead of guessing, because you'll very likely be wrong. Use irrationality and unpredictability to your advantage by expecting the unexpected. And I always say, if you want to kill a good ask, make an assumption, right? Assumptions kill asks. And I'm sure all of my rejection and asking experts would agree with me on that one. I do have to tell a funny story about uh, an auction that I was at. Um, this was for a the Humane Society in Southwest Washington. And, and auctioneers are they're very good at asking. This particular auctioneer had another take actually as well. Um, so this was a trip to Turtle Island, Fiji, which is the most amazing. This is one of these resorts that has 12, um, they're like cabins, they call them burrays, on the, literally on the beach. And um, as I'm telling the story, you can probably guess where this is going because I'm able to describe it. So <laughs> you'll see how this end ends. But anyway, this, this um, trip was, you know, valued, I think at like $10,000. And so I looked over at my husband who, along with me, had way, way too much wine to drink. And I was like, no, like, don't get any ideas. And he's like, I just want to lift up my paddle. I just want to lift up my paddle and then I will put my paddle down. So I was like, fine. So anyway, they start the auction and they're they're shouting out numbers. You know, it starts really low, like ridiculous, like a thousand dollars and quickly goes up from there. And my husband's in at five thousand and he's in at seven thousand and eight thousand. And I'm like, OK, <laughs> you can put your paddle down now. Start putting your paddle down. And but he's not. And and very quickly, uh, this room of people, all of a sudden it is down to my husband and someone else in the room. So put your paddle down. Like that just went out the window. <laughs> so now 
the auctioneer is now now the increments go smaller. So they don't they don't jump from 500 to I'm sure Dia could educate me on this, but they don't jump. They don't do the big numbers. Now it's going into hundreds. And so um, it got to 12,000 and then it was 12,000 and the other person had their paddle at 12,000. And then they said 12,200. Do I hear 12,200? And they're looking at my husband to make a decision. And I'm like, my eyes are as big as saucers. I'm like, what are you doing? And the auctioneer, the person um, said, are you really not going to go to Turtle Island, Fiji for $200? Because you see, they'd already gotten the $12,000. So this is, a, this is a technique that Richard and I called close on the difference. So now we're only talking about the difference between the, you know, amount that uh, that that little small amount versus the amount that you've already in your mind, you've already spent, you've already agreed to that. Are you really not going to go to Turtle Island, Island Fiji for two hundred dollars? So my husband raises his paddle, thinking, and and now the, the auctioneer, now it's twelve thousand four hundred, twelve thousand four hundred. Everybody was out. And we won a trip to Turtle Island, Fiji for 12200 I will say it was worth every penny. I was absolutely glad that we could help the Humane Society. Um, and those auctioneers, they definitely know how to ask. They're not afraid of getting a no. So this is how to ask for more and get it. Uh, I highly recommend this along with the other books I mentioned, The Aladdin Factor, Ask for More, and Rejection Proof. And if you want to um, reprogram the way you think about no in that process, obviously, pick up a copy of Go for No. So those are some great asking books for 2024. And uh, hope this was helpful.